Hello friends, welcome to Text Query. Today we are going to discuss about the XML basics. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, a computer language which uses markup and is capable of being extended. Now what is markup? Markup are the notations and symbols that are used to correct in making up the text and indicate how text should be displayed like smaller than sign, greater than sign, question mark, slash, all these symbols are used to write the XML code. Now what is extensible? Extensible describe a program or programming language that is designed so that a user or developers can extend or adds to its capabilities. So what were the reasons to design the XML document? XML was designed to store the data that is easily understood by human and machine and to transport the data between the two applications working on a different platforms. That's why we also call it as a universal language. Okay, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, suppose there is a bank that is designed on the Java platform and there is an insurance company that is designed on a Kabul platform. Even though both the applications are on two different platforms, still they can exchange the information using XML documents. As XML document is easily understood by Java platform as well as by COBOL platform and any other platforms. That's why XML is also called the platform independent language. Let's look at this small example. There is some information in front of you. Can you make any guess out of it? What is this information is all about? Well, you have already started thinking about it. Now let me show you this. This information is all about customer. How can you say this? By looking at this tags. This is an XML document. By looking at the elements of this XML documents, you can say this number 6735233 is a customer number. Arpan is the first name. Sani is the last name. Textquery at the rate gmail.com is an email address. Salt Lake City is the city name and so on and this information we call it as the metadata of the xml document xml actually giving a meaning to our data by providing meta information regarding that particular data if as a human being we can understand this document then why not machines now we'll discuss about a very basics of an xml document any element in the XML document, start with the less than sign and the name of the element. Name of the element, it's nothing but the meta information like we saw in previous slide. It can be a customer name, first name, last name, etc. And the text. Text is nothing but the metadata related to the meta information. If the meta information say it's a customer number, then the metadata will be the actual customer number. So the text is nothing but the actual metadata after the metadata there will always be a closing tag the only difference between the start tag and the closing tag is this slash the closing tag will always be recognized with this slash and the complete set of the meta information and the metadata we call it as an element of an xml document now I'll discuss about the structure of elements in the an xml document an xml document can have a root element a child element and a subchild element but it's not necessary all type of elements should exist at the same time so there can be a case when the xml document has only the root element and the child element and there is no subchild element the root element is also called as the parent element so while writing the xml codes we need to follow some standards like the xml element names are the case sensitive here the element name starts with a small letter c while the closing tag has starting letter as capital c so the way it is written it is wrong the correct way is the start tag element name should be exactly the same as the end tag element name xml element should not overlap like the way it is written the customer customer number, first name and after that the metadata of the customer number and the customer number tag is closed and after that the first name tag is closed. So the way it is written is incorrect. The first name element is overlapping the customer number element. The correct way of writing this is the customer name and the first name and the metadata after this the first name should be closed first and then the customer number 
तो इट्स ए करेक्ट वे एंड दिस इज प्रॉपरली नेस्टेड इन द एक्सएमएल डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए कम्प्लीट एक्सएमएल डॉक्यूमेंट दैट हैज ओल टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सो दिस फर्स्ट लाइन इज द डिक्लेरेशन लाइक विच वर्जन ऑफ द एक्सएमएल वी आर यूजिंग एंड दिस इज आवर रूट एलिमेंट और वी कैन से द पेरेंट एलिमेंट अंडर द पेरेंट एलिमेंट वी हैव द चाइल्ड एलिमेंट्स कस्टमर नंबर एम्प्लॉयर फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम ई मेल एड्रेस सिटी कंट्री एंड द चिप कोड ऑल एलिमेंट एट द सेम लेवल आर द चाइल्ड एलिमेंट अंडर द रूट एलिमेंट दिस इज आवर सब चाइल्ड एलिमेंट इट्स पेरेंट एलिमेंट इज दिस एम्प्लॉयर एलिमेंट और वी कैन से द डेजिग्नेशन इज द सब चाइल्ड एलिमेंट ऑफ द रूट एलिमेंट कस्टमर नंबर so this is a complete set of an xml document thank you please comment on the video for more questions and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates